Hello, so today I want to show you a little bit about how you can approach um, the task to play a ditch inside a song with other musicians. So I uh, will take a concrete example. It's a song by Chui um, and Tony who plays keyboards there. He came to Ur and me and asked if we can play something with him. So Ur usually plays guitar in Druid. And um, we listen to what he played and try to figure out how we can uh, accompany him or play with him. And I want to show you on different levels how you can approach that task because even as a beginner you can play a didgeridoo in a band. You cannot offer the same what you can when you are intermediate or advanced or pro, but still you can offer um, something new. So. In this way, I want to um, progress with a beginner till pro and that you realize that not always as an advanced musician, as, as advanced did you do player, you have to play more. Because what I played in the end was relatively simple. But the way that the sound was shaped is not so easy and the way it was shaped, I feel, uh, fits better into the song. So it's uh, more pulsy, more defined. Um, so the song started with Tony playing on the keyboard something like... And then we're played on a guitar something like... together sounds something like. So you have to figure out where to put this there. So I, I ended up playing something like. But this is not necessarily what you have to play. So let's take this rhythm and pull it, put it into the position where you're basically a beginner. Not really a beginner that you just tried uh, to play for the first time. So I presume that you can do circular breathing and some modulation. So it will start with some harmonic changes and it will become more and more defined as your skills go on. So maybe you can take these examples as an inspiration or an overview of what you could do or how you can um, push your playing further. So I played through the mixer and mic through which I play live. So this is about the sound that I have when I play live. And this is why I had inner monitoring so that I can hear what I'm doing a little bit better, what I'm doing together with the system. 
um, but you don't have to have this you can have just a normal feedback however on a higher level of playing I really um, like to have more feedback of what I'm doing because a lot of it was fine uh, tuning of the sound how I shape it how the transients come out how the bass is pronounced how punchy it is and to a certain extent I can I know that by acoustic um, what I get acoustically but if I have a microphone and headphones uh, then it's much easier for me to really know what I'm doing um, anyway this I hope inspires you a little bit how you can approach playing and what um, is maybe the next step for you to try if you recognize yourself in some of the ways that I presented here maybe you can um, uh, get some inspiration to get to the next level this is of course a very rough sketch um, but hopefully helpful and of course if you're curious how it actually worked out um, all this together and how the ditch fits into the track I recommend that you uh, click on the link in the description and um, listen to the original track many thanks <laughs>